Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and heard the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 15th of May. Indian Home Minister Amit Shah is at POJK belongs to India, says territory and integral part. Cash wrap Pakistan's politicians own property worth billions in Dubai, claims report. And India rejects allegations of unauthorized landing in Maldives, says followed proper procedures. Now for all the details. After violent clashes in Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, India's Interior Minister Amit Shah on Wednesday said that India will take back the occupied territory from Pakistan. While addressing a rally, Shah said, while peace returned in Jammu and Kashmir since BJP government revoked Article 370, chants of freedom have been echoing in POJK. Amit Shah said before the revocation of special status to Jammu and Kashmir in 2019, Stones were pelted in the erstwhile state and now stones are being pelted in POJK. Pakistan's paramilitary rangers opened fire on people in POJK who had been protesting over their demands for lower taxes on electricity, cuts in subsidies and an end to the perks and privileges accorded to the Prime Minister and President of the country. At least three people were killed and over 100 were injured during the clashes. Taking a jibe on Western media for its negative coverage on India's national elections, India's External Affairs Minister S. S. Shankar on Tuesday said that they want to influence India and that's what they have been doing for years. Jay Shankar during an event said they will damage India's reputation by bringing out an index and then they will put you down in that. The minister further said that countries who have to go to court to decide the result of their elections are schooling India about how to conduct election. His statement came after Russia accused the US to trying to interfere in the Indian elections. Criticizing new colonial mentality of US, Russia said that Washington desires to unbalance the internal political situation in India in order to complicate the general parliamentary elections taking place in the country and is its part of interference in India's internal affairs. On the uh, question of, uh, you know, US, Canada, religious freedom, etc., uh, do they want to influence us? Answer is yes. They do want to influence us because many of these countries feel that they have influenced the world for the last uh, 70, 80 years in the world order and Western countries actually feel they influenced the world for the last 200, 300 years. Amid economic crisis in Pakistan, a recent investigative report on Tuesday revealed that Pakistani nationals own a substantial number of properties in Dubai, collectively valued at a high amount of 12.5 billion US dollars. The report stated that top politician leader including former President Parvez Musharraf and current President Asif Ali Zardari acquires millions of dollars worth of properties in Dubai. The report highlighted that the elites of Pakistan diverted large amounts of wealth to Dubai, exacerbating the economic disparity back in the country. Pakistan, a developing country teetering on the edge of economic collapse, begging international lenders and friendly countries for lifelines in single-digit billions features prominently in the data. Following the revelations, some of the Pakistani politicians have reacted, saying there was nothing wrong with the practice and that properties under their name were already declared. Defence Minister Khwaja Mohammad Asif also dismissed the leaks, saying all those names were already known to have properties abroad. The report comes as Pakistan is looking for another bailout package from the International Monetary Fund. India on Tuesday rejected allegations of unauthorized landing stays after the Moldavian Defence Minister accused Indian troops of conducting unpermitted flight operations in the past. During a press conference this past weekend, Moldavian Defence Minister Ghassan Mamoun claimed an Indian-operated helicopter undertook an unauthorized trip landing outside Mali without permission. Refuting the allegations, the Indian High Commission in Mali stated that Indian helicopters operating in the Maldives have always 
followed agreed upon procedures and received proper authorization from the Moldavian National Defense Force. They added that the specific sortie referred at the press conference was also undertaken with MNDF approval. The emergency landing in Thimara Fushi was necessitated due to an unforeseen exigency. This landing was carried out after taking necessary on-ground approvals from air traffic control to ensure the safety and security of the helicopter and crew, the statement said. Indian personnel were previously stationed at Mali to train Moldavian Armed Forces officials on aircraft donated by New Delhi. However, following the election of the pro-China leader Mohammad Muizu, the Maldives formally requested India withdraw its troops from Mali, which was completed by May 10. Sri Lankan cabinet on Tuesday approved a new economic law that will cover key targets set by the International Monetary Fund. The new economic transformation bill will legalize multiple targets set under the IMF program, including a goal to reduce the debt to gross domestic product ratio to 95% by 2030 and reduce debt servicing costs to 4.5% of GDP, the cabinet spokesperson and transport minister Bandula Gunvardhana said following the approval of legislation. This law is to ensure that Sri Lanka continues on this path to recover from the crisis and also implement larger reforms to grow consistently, Gunavardhana added. Sri Lanka plunged into its worst financial crisis in more than seven decades after its foreign exchange reserves sank to record lows in 2022, pushing the country to default on its foreign debt. But the island nation has seen its economy improve after a 2.9 billion US dollars bailout was approved by the IMF last April and is expected to grow by 3% this year. Nepal government has claimed to improve the economic conditions with implementation of financial and monetary policies as it announces plans and policies ahead of the fiscal budget. Reading out the plans of the government, Nepal President Ram Chandra Podil stated that the economy has improved as a result of the balanced implementation of financial and monetary policies. The government further announced that through the policies, Nepal would take initiatives to attract more foreign investment and unveil programs to boost the morale of private sector. Podil underlined that Nepal would develop as global information technology hub, encouraging to develop IT industry as the major sector of employment and service export. Nepal is facing a severe economic crisis as agricultural and industrial production is falling, the trade deficit along with the unemployment problem is growing, the stock market is tumbling. Bitta eva maudrik niti ko samanjasya poona karya no in vata artha tantra ma kramasa sudhar aya ko cha agillo arthik varsa ko tulana ma arthik vriddi dar ma sudhar aya ko cha mudras piti dar ghaate ko cha. संबद्ध कानून हरुमा परिवार धनकारी लगानी को समग्र बातावरण सुधार करिए को छा सुबह बनारस ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ऑन ट्यूसडे एट आइकॉनिक अस्सी घाट ऑफर्ड अ कैप्टिवेटिंग ग्लिम्स इनटू वाराणसी's रिच कल्चरल हेरिटेज एस द सिटी अवेकेंस टू द सॉफ्ट चांस ऑफ वेदिक हिम्स योगा प्रैक्टिसेस एंड होली डिप्स इन a unique cultural extravaganza unfolds at Asi Ghat, one of the five key ghats in the Varanasi city. The event, known as Subai Banaras or the Dawn of Banaras, is a captivating display of the city's rich cultural heritage, leaving tourists in awe of the city's timeless beauty. The event offers a glimpse into the spiritual awakening of Varanasi giving foreign tourists a chance to delve in the culture of the holy city. As the morning air carries the soft chants of Vedic hymns, people are also seen performing various rituals such as yoga and holy dip in the Ganga River. Locals say there is a significant increase in tourism, especially after these event and inauguration of the redeveloped Vishwanath Temple Corridor. पर्यटन आ रहा है दूर दूर दराज से दूर दराज से लोग आते हैं घूमते हैं हम घुमाते हैं वो लोग को भगवान विश्वनाथ मंदिर बना जब से कोरिडोर तब से बहुत कुछ That's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.